There's been several of us in the Small YouTube Homesteaders Facebook group who have um, challenged each other, I guess, to do the 30 random facts about ourselves. So I'm just gonna tag some of those other channels at the end of this video because I don't know who's challenging who. So I'm just gonna tag some of them, uh, do some shout outs at the end and I'll put their links in the description. I'm also gonna include the link to the Facebook group. If you have your own small channel under 1500 subscribers and you're somehow homestead self-sufficient related, you don't have to have a homestead, but if you do something pertaining to homesteading, it could just be um, handcrafts or canning or gardening or something like that, then come on over and join and uh, be sure to let us know that you do have your own channel whenever you're joining because sometimes it's hard to tell how, uh, how, hard to tell who to let in and who not to. So number one, this is the most important to us. I gotta try to be quick though because there's 30 of these. Our faith. There's not very many people who believe like we do and our beliefs, beliefs are always changing just a little bit because bottom line is we try to follow the Bible, the God of the Hebrews, um, the Hebrew Bible, whatever you want to call it, the 66 books we try to follow to the best of our understanding. So we don't really fit into the Christian category. We don't fit into the Jewish category. We don't even really fit into the Messianic category. Um, we just try to follow the Bible to, to the best of our ability, and that includes keeping the seventh day Sabbath, and we also keep the biblical feast days. We do not keep Purim and Hanukkah because they're not in the Bible. See how that works? <laughs> so we just do our best to the best of our understanding, and uh, everybody's at a different place. So we, you know, we try to be understanding of that as well. We try not to judge people for wherever you're at because everybody's at a different place, and we still have a lot of learning to do, but that's where we are now. So number two, all of our kids' names start with the letter J. Number three, we met at, Miles and I met at Hobby Lobby on my very first day working there back in 1998. Number four, we are both the third child in our family. Number five, we are both raised Baptist. So all of our families think we're in a cult now, <laughs> even though we don't have a cult leader. Um, number six, we were both raised with three brothers. He actually has a brother and a sister from his birth mother as well that he really didn't grow up with and he didn't really know them very well. But he was raised with three brothers um, and I was raised with three brothers. Number seven, I went to Lynchburg Christian Academy and attended Thomas Road Baptist Church where Jerry Falwell preached. And most, uh, a lot of people may not even know who he is, but it was a significant time in my life, so I just wanted to mention that. Number eight, Miles still works at Hobby Lobby. He's still at the, at the warehouse. He's been there almost 21 years now. Number nine, Jonathan is 16, and he is an award-winning author. It's been um, almost two years now. He won a contest through the library and he got published, e-published through the library. Number 10, he's also getting into um, wood burning and he loves geography. So he's going to burn a map onto a table and and have it like a, a, his own personal, you know, custom made version of risk. He loves it. Jayla, who is 14, loves horses. And number 12, she also loves to dance. And she, um, she had to take a year off this year, but she was in point the year before. And she was also in the Oklahoma City Ballet Nutcracker in 2010. That was actually, <laughs> that was a little, little extra one here. That was actually the last um, 
thing we had anything to do with Christmas. We did not do Christmas that year. And so we were kind of on the fence on letting her do the, but the Nutcracker. <laughs> but she did the Nutcracker and then we didn't do anything else Christmas after that. So um, Jacob, who is 12 years old, loves planes and may finally have an opportunity to fly one, not just fly in one, but maybe even fly one this summer when he goes to camp. Jacob can also, this is number 14, he can build or fix just about anything. If you get a problem with something, it's not working or whatever, he, he can make it. He can make it happen. It's handy to have on the homestead. <laughs> number 15, we have two children with genetic abnormalities, but they're both different from each other. Um, Jack has a duplication it's only about six genes and it's called uh, it's a 6p 21.1 which is the 21.1 is just the segment on the sixth chromosome and the p is the short arm i believe it's been a while since i've researched any of that so it's not fresh on my memory and then joe has um i cannot remember the name of it but it's a um mutation of the protein in his dna i'll put the name of it up on the screen but they they have some similar characteristics they both have speech impediments and they both have seizures um number 16 jack who we who we've always called jack jack um he loves yellow anything yellow is his he wants a yellow house and a yellow car and yellow shirts and yellow jackets and everything is yellow. Um, he also has always sung on pitch. He's nine years old right now and he can hit those notes exactly. Even when he was little, before he could even talk, he would sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and it'd be like, da da ba ba da da ba. And he would hit every single note. It was so cute. <laughs> and another thing about Jack, number 18. I, I tell people this all the time because it's true. He is the sweetest boy you will ever meet, especially for a nine-year-old. I mean, at any age, he's just hes just so, so sweet. He's very caring, very loving. And um, that doesn't mean that he never gets in arguments with his siblings or anything like that. But he's just overall a very, very sweet boy. Number 19, Joe, who is six years old, is a big time mama's boy. <laughs> He's always been my clingiest kid. And even at six, he'll come in and just lay his head over on me and go, uh, and then he'll run off and go play. <laughs> Number 20, he's very sweet and generous and helpful as well. He's, um, he's not always in the mood to help pick up toys or whatever, but when he is, he's my best, my best cleaner. He'll pick up the toys before anybody else even has a chance to. <clears throat> Number 21, Jessica is four years old and she has she has staked her claim on Felicity, the black goat. She's claimed her. Felicity belongs to Jessica. I don't think we can tell her otherwise. Another funny fact about Jessie, um, <laughs> she had very fuzzy ears when she was born. Like she had long hair all over her ears. It was so funny. I knew it wouldn't last, but um, I've got pictures of that somewhere. I'll have to see if I can find it. <clears throat> Number 23, my mom and I both had four C-sections. My last four were C-sections. She only had four. Um, Number 24, Miles and I both went to Brazil the same year before we ever met. I even lived in Virginia at the time and he lived here in Oklahoma. But we were in different parts of Brazil and he was there a couple of weeks after I was. But I've always thought that was really cool. We went that same year. That was the only year, only time either of us have ever been to Brazil. Number 25, we are not coffee drinkers. Number 26, 
We were married in 1999. Number 27, we actually went camping on our honeymoon. I enjoyed it. I've always loved camping. Miles, not so much. He does enjoy camping now, but he ended up sleeping in the car. <laughs> Number 28, <clears throat> his mom died when he was just six days old. Um, I think she got an aneurysm or something. I never met her. I've heard some wonderful stories. I've seen lots of pictures, but I've never met her. Number 29, I was my husband's first kiss. Now, we didn't wait until the wedding day to, to have our first kiss, but we did wait till we were engaged. And I was the first girl he ever kissed. And that makes me feel special. Number 30. Drum roll, please. Well, believe it or not, we want more children. I don't know if it'll happen or not. And we're content with whatever the father brings us. But we would love to have another child or two. And I'm 42. He's 44. So we've still got time. All right, that's the 30 random facts about, about us, about our family. And so my shout outs are gonna be to Bandana Grandma, Collingwood Acre, Daybird Aviaries, and I think he may be the one who actually challenged us, Jonathan Lone Star Living, and the Concrete Kid, Myra. I don't know how to say her name. Sorry if I butchered that. It's M-I-R-E-Y-A. I'll put the links down in the description below. And thank you all for, for listening, for watching. Y'all have a good day.